Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh. That's Print City. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am bringing you another POV street photography video, but I shot all the photos on my Sony a7S Mark III. And you're probably like, why are you shooting photos on a 12 megapixel camera? Because I wanted to see for myself if this camera is good enough to shoot photos with. Because when I'm out shooting, I don't wanna to have to carry around two cameras, one just for photos and one just for video. If I'm gonna have a hybrid camera, I want it to be able to shoot both photo and video pretty good. And if I can get by with 12 megapixels, then I'm only gonna be carrying one camera with me from now on. So. That is why I went out to shoot with this camera to prove to myself or to actually see for myself if this can do all the things that I want it to do. And I'm happy to report that 12 megapixels is definitely enough to shoot photos with unless you need to blow your photos up for like a billboard or if you're shooting for a really high paying client like Mercedes Benz or BMW or something like that and they need to have the ability to possibly like reframe and crop in on the photos to highlight like a certain feature in that photo or whatever the case is. If you're gonna be shooting really high paying photo work, don't use this camera. But if you're gonna be out shooting and just traveling and shooting photos for yourself, then I think that this camera does that just fine. Especially if you're just posting to like Instagram, social media content, stuff like that. 12 megapixels is plenty. I'm also really happy with the photos that I've been getting off this camera because the dynamic range is so much better than the a7 III and the new color science that Sony has in this body is absolutely mind blowing. I'm very, very happy. But enough talking, let's get right into the video. I'll let you guys watch and see for yourself. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, consider it. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're out here today with Ev right in front of us. And Dev on the side of us, practicing his, uh, his one wheel action. And we caught a really nice day today. It's like 60-ish degrees, but we're out today shooting on the A7S III. Some street photos, again, I got the Sigma 85 on. Really like this 85. Really like some of the images I got last time. So we're out here shooting some more street with the A7S III to see how well this camera is, or how good this camera is for shooting photos. F4, get out of here. So you see we got the state house right here. I'm gonna frame it like wicked low. Can I see that for a sec? 7200. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good. All right, so I grabbed this 7200 that Evan's using because <laughs> I really want a flick of this. Yeah, I don't have. Dude, I don't want This lady said that we can go in her driveway, right? Get this like pretty sharp. Wow, that's pretty sharp for 12 megapixels. Dude, we're out shooting like east side of Providence. Came a long way from that wooden lawn park. Could be cool. Could also be kind of cool right here. Let's see if I can frame this. Oh my god, did 
you guys see that post about Gina going around the restaurant? Yeah. You did? You saw it? Yeah. You saw that? What? The post. So we're on the east side of Providence right now. My favorite part of Providence because it's just all these huge historical houses that are so beautiful and so easy to shoot over here especially like when you're shooting for brand or something because everything looks good came out of way from that wooded Island park now you're oh meeting right first right? yeah i think it's this way like you see a house like this can you guys see this this is just Beautiful. This is the east side of Providence. It's absolutely amazing. Shh. Oh, do that again. Oh, you bastard. Fine, I'll do it again. Thank you. you. Nice. You're welcome. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, yeah. I want that photo too, though. Oh, this is actually gas. Mine's gonna be better than Ev's. Oh man. Oh my God. There's so much detail. Wow. Everybody thinks that you can't shoot photos on a 12 megapixel camera, but you can. Totally can. I kind of want to shoot auto ISO though. I don't like having to adjust my ISO for every photo. And I'm going to underexpose everything. Can you teach me how to do that? What do you mean? I never learned how to use those. These. Okay, so for everybody who wants to know how to shoot auto ISO and what this dial is on top of your camera, basically this is your exposure compensation dial. So if you have this set to zero, that means if you're using auto ISO, it's gonna try to take the meter for the image that you're shooting, like see this street right here? Mm -hmm. It's gonna meter this image and pick an exposure or an ISO that'll meter everything at zero. And then if you set it to like negative, whoops, if you set it to like negative one, right? That's like one stop underexposed. It'll meter everything one stop under, which mm -hmm. if you're shooting Sony, you always want to like try to underexpose because it's easier to pull the shadows back up because the dynamic range on Sony's are so good. So typically I usually shoot like one stop under or like 0.7 and then that way they're like my highlights won't blow out and then I can just pull the shadows up. And then all I have to do is worry about my shutter speed, and my aperture, and then I'm out here flying around. Oh my God, this building is just like so beautiful, man. I don't really like how that tree is there. You guys see this? Oh man. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Come on. See, I need like... I need a 7 to 200. No, Deb's right. I need a 100 to 400. God dang. I might have to order one tonight. You guys see the reflection in the puddle right there? Could be cool. Could also probably be dumb. Hey, Marco. What happened? What did you say? Just say yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. That's print. That's print city. Hold on, wait, wait. You wanna see something? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh. That's print city. 
You kidding me? Oh, look at the state house. I need to get a 100 to 400 so bad. I like this little street right here. It reminds me of like Boston. Dude, these steps right here? Yeah, these steps are cool. Oh, dude, we just did a big loop. Yeah. Where's that dude that, that called his asshole? Came a long way from the Woodlawn Park. Hey, don't get in my way, man. Right. Oh, it's up, it's up, it's up. Let me sneak one of them. Oh, Ev, stay right there, actually. Turn somewhere. Turn some. Yeah, yeah. Hold the camera down. Cool beans, man. Came a long way from the Wooden Elm Park. It's pretty dope. Oh! Wanna go down there? All right, Dev, you wanna go one wheel down there? Oh, my back. Go! All right, turn around, come back. Nice. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, look at this. Old Stone Bank. Hello. Dude, this lens is insane. Pretty nice. Deb, hit the stairs. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you get him whipping it? Did he look up at you? Dude, that's clean as fuck. Pretty dope. Whoa. If you guys saw Super Lonely, the short film I created a couple months back, we shot up on this garage rooftop. It's a sick spot. What the heck? <laughs> Come on, one wheel. I'm gonna take this thing off. Wait, why won't it pick up my foot? It's right there. All right, so ripping Dev's one wheel. I need to get one of these. It's so fun. Like, they're just gonna shoot some flicks at me while I'm on here. I'm just gonna try to like as steezy as I possibly can. Make me look like I've been doing this for a long time. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here for sunset POV with the 85. We're gonna shoot a low light video next, so be on the lookout for that. I'm upside down and I'm riding a one wheel.